Kenneth Turan. I'm the film critic for the Los Angeles Times. I think the primary reaction is to give, give a person something they want to read, also something that's informative, something that's helpful, something that they can use. Uh, and it's also, I mean, personally, one of the things that keeps me going is helping people is, you know, with a sense of what they're going to see. I like to push people towards films that I think they'll like. There's nothing in it for me monetarily if a film succeeds or not. But I want people to share in the great pleasure I get when I see a film I really love. Well, you, you know, one of the things that happens with, uh, with the you know, email world is that I hear some reviews reach people all over the world. I get emails from Europe, from Australia, from China. Uh, you never know which one that's going to be. Uh, but usually you just, I mean, you can tell sometimes. And also it's hard to tell because sometimes your review, when reviews really influence the performance of a film, it's often when all the reviews are in one place. Uh, like uh, New Film 71 opened strongly in New York and Los Angeles, and both the reviews in both cities were good, and they probably influence each other. So it's not just you yourself that's the influencer when you're part of a group of a surge causing people to say, hey, let's take a look at this. I don't know that the people who are, you know, basing their film going solely on Rotten Tomatoes were review goers in the first place. I don't know that I've lost anyone. You can click through to the whole reviews on all the, all the sites. And, you know, I tend to think of uh, Rotten Tomatoes and places like that. Metacritic as kind of fast food. You know, if you're in a hurry and you want to get a quick something, you look there. If you want something more substantial, you have to read someone's review. I don't really feel that they're cannibalizing my audience. In some ways, they may get more people to read. Well, a lot of people, you know, in this day and age, a lot of people do everything. You know, uh, I, ha I s find myself on Twitter as well, which is something I never would have anticipated. I don't think there's really uh, people who just tweet and don't read things in newspapers. I think there are people who do as much of everything as they're interested in. Uh, it's easier. I mean, when people used to write me letters, I rarely wrote letters back. It was almost too much trouble. Uh, with email and tweets, I can respond, but it just depends on kind of how I react to the, uh, you know, the email in question. Sometimes I respond, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm too busy, respond two weeks later. Sometimes two weeks turns into never. I mean, I like to respond. I like the interaction, but sometimes there's just no time for it.